This is Casey Miller with Scrape Talk and your co-host... Oh, Ben Needler. A certain Ben Needler. Most certainly Ben Needler. Ben, could you start us off tonight with some tunes? Oh, uh, let's see. Scrape Talk! Wow, that was <laughs> awesome. That That's was our impressive. new theme song. If you like it, uh, go to YouTube and make a channel called Scrape Talk, and then upvote the channel, and if it gets enough... Upvotes, maybe we'll uh, start posting on there. Maybe we'll uh, <laughs> start posting on there. Sounds like a plan. Ben, I've been noticing something, bro. What is that? Bigots. They're all over the place. Bigots. Bigots. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Bigots is from the Latin origin, and it combines two words. It's actually three. Big, stupid idiots? Yes. That's right. Spot. There's another word that some people call bigots. What's that? Haters. Now, what do haters do, Ben? Haters wake up in the morning trying to get offended at something. They try to get offended. They tr they're just trying to get upset. Now, really, what I've been noticing recently is that haters act like gravity. Mm. Let's give them the gravity talk. All right. The space talk. This is going to be some space talk. So It's going to be some space talk prepared. Buckle up, because we're going to space. This summer, me and my uh, buddy Casey were out on a nature egg and uh, expedition, and we were uh, talking. Yeah. We were at a waterfall. We were talking. We said, you know what? Space. Yeah, let's talk about it. I said, Casey, we are in space. He said, what do you mean? I said, I said, in space, there's no gravity to pull you down. Every day of your life, you build up higher and higher, right. just like a tall building. The taller you get, the more gravity wants to take you down, the more haters want to pull you from your high pedestal. No, that's true. Until you get to space. Right. This is space talk. Once you're in space, you don't even have to worry about the gravity any longer. The haters are gravity but you're in space. Say somebody, say somebody says something mean to you. They say, hey, toothpaste tooth. And you say, I'm in space. Once you reach the atmosphere of space, you're like Lance Armstrong, and you're not affected anymore by what anybody says anymore. That's verifiable. You have any funny stories from today, Casey? I have one real quick. Oh, while you're thinking. There was this girl in class today, and she uh, kept correcting everybody's German. And I said, oh, that's so cool. Are you from France? And then she got mad at me. That's So I'm in Greek class right now. It's, it's Monday morning, 8 o'clock. And I'm sitting next to this girl. And apparently she's smart. In fact, she's related to Charles Spurgeon, the famous doctor. Charles Spurgeon, the famous doctor? Yeah. She, that's who she's related to. They're family. He invented spurgery. That's the guy. Like if you break your gut and you have to go in and get spurgery? Right. Yeah, Ben, can I, be, can I be honest with you? What? My grandpa died during spurgery. Your grandpa died? Why didn't you tell me? That's going to wrap up our episode this of... This has been Scrape Talk!